Let's solve one previous question of compiler design. This question was asked in GATE CS 2023 question number 50. Consider the syntax directed translation given by the following grammar and semantic rules. Here N, I, F and B are non-terminals. N is the starting non-terminals and hash 0 and 1 are lexical token corresponding to input letter hash 0 and 1 respectively. X dot B A L denotes the synthesized attribute or you can say numerical value associated with non-terminal X. So that we can read as X value. I1 and F1 denotes the occurrence of I and F on the right hand side of the production respectively. For the token 0 and 1, 0 dot value equals to 0 and 1 dot value equals to 1. Here grammar is given with the semantic rules. The value computed by the translation schema for the input string 1 0 hertz 0 1 1 is dash rounded off to three decimal places. First I will create the normal syntax tree then I will apply the semantic rule. So I need to create 1 0 hertz 0 1 1 from n. So from n I will derive i, hertz and f. Now from this i I will derive 1, 0, hertz is here. Then from this f I will derive 0, 1, 1. So from i we can derive i1, b. Then from this b we will derive 0. So from i1 we need to derive 1. So from i1 we will derive b. Then from b we will derive 1. Next from this b we will derive 0. Now we got 1, 0, hash. We just need to derive 0, 1, 1. From F, we can derive B, F, 1. Then from this B, we will derive 0. Now from this F, 1, we need to derive 1, 1. So from F, 1, we will derive B, F, 1. Then from this B, 1. Then from this F, 1, B. Then from B, 1. Now we got 1, 0, hertz, 0, 1, 1. So syntax tree is done for 1, 0, hertz, 0, 1, 1. Next we will apply this semantic rules. We will apply it bottom to top and left to right. Now 1 value will pass to B value. So B value equals to 1. Then this B value will be I value. So I value will be 1. Here this 0 value will pass to B value, B value will be 0. Now this I value will be, I value equals to 2 I1 value plus B value. Here what is I1 value? It's 1. So 2 multiplication 1 plus 0 is 2. So this I value will be 2. We derive from I1 and B. The semantic rule is given i value equals to 2 i1 value plus b value. So we got i value equals to 2. Now this 0 value will pass to b value, b value equals to 0. Here this b value equals to 1. Here this b value equals to 1. Now f value equals to half of b value. Here b value equals to 1. So half of 1 will be 0.5 f1 value equals to 0.5 1 divide 2 next for this production f derive b f1 the semantic rule is f value equals to half of b value plus f1 value so half of b value is 1 plus 0.5 so it is half of 1.5 half of 1.5 is 0.75 so f1 value is 0.75. Next for this f value again we will find half of b value plus f1 value. So half of 0 plus 0.75 is 0.375. Now we got both i value and f value we can find n value. n value equals to i value plus f value. So n equals to 2 plus 0.375 and in question it is asking the value computed by the translation schema for the input string 10 hertz 011 is dash 
and it should be rounded up to three decimal places. So after rounded of three decimal places, answer is 2.375. I already discussed syntax directed translation. Just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.